This is a special year for We Summit, as it marks our 10-year anniversary. As such, it's a great opportunity to reflect on our mission, the importance of scientific and technological innovation, collaboration across borders, and what we have learned over the past 10 years. We Summit was started by Tencent in 2012 to better highlight the most ambitious scientific work being done around the world. In our typical everyday lives, we often don't have the time to ponder the most fundamental questions. Who are we? What is our role in the universe? What parts of Earth are left to be explored? And so forth. We Summit has been a space to specifically highlight the fantastic work being done to explore the biggest questions. We Summit seeks to celebrate global scientific advancements that can help us understand our everyday lives better, our health, the health of our planet, and provide us with more insight and inspiration to explore new technologies. We have sought to highlight various challenging issues related to our changing planet, discussing climate change, food, energy, and water, managing the resources of Earth better, the universe beyond Earth, and our overall complex relationships to the natural ecosystems around all of us. We have had the honor of hosting Nobel laureates and many leading experts from around the world, and we're grateful to be able to host our guest speakers for this year's event. Importantly, We Summit has been a very international event, with international guests being a critical aspect of the dialogue and participation. Through international scientific dialogue, we seek to grow collaboration to solve universal human challenges and learn from the various findings and achievements around the world. As part of our 10th anniversary year celebration for We Summit, we're introducing a new concept of a human technology tree. The human tech tree represents our collective growth as we build on our knowledge and understanding of the world around us. A tree has its roots in the past, with many branches reaching out to new directions, representing our ever-expanding knowledge and technological progress. What will the next 10 years of We Summit be like? And what can we expect for the next 10 years on Earth? While we've been working to overcome COVID around the world, we are also clearly being hit by more and more disruptive climate events. Humanity has moved past the phase of arguing if we believe in climate change or not, that kind of stuff, right? And now we are increasing our focus on adaptation strategies and emissions reductions. From horrendous floods to punishing heat waves, tropical cyclones, droughts, and well, you know, things that just used to not happen before, right? As we say, these outlier events, right? There's almost nowhere on the planet now that isn't witnessing the effects of climate change unfolding before their eyes. We all have our stories, right? Rather than becoming too uncomfortable with discussions about these changes in our natural environment, we need to rather embrace science as a critical guide to help us understand these trends and guide our next moves. What technologies can make the greatest impact with the greatest efficiency at the lowest price point with the most scalability and can also move urgently? Science can help us evaluate the many solutions and approaches that will be proposed by innovators around the world. More than ever, we are going to need smart science to guide human responses to protect our planet and make our ecosystems more resilient. Many years ago at We Summit, we introduced a concept of food, energy, and water, or FEW. At the time, the framework may have seemed a little unusual, right? A little bit novel. Food? Water? Why is a consumer internet company talking about this stuff, right? And then we released our book, Rearchitecting Earth, Artificial Intelligence for Few, in early 2021. I continue to believe that Few is the most powerful framework for considering planetary security in the coming years. We will all need to work together to secure enough food, energy, and water resources for resilient human life. And there's much we can do to drive efficiency and optimization, reducing waste with Few including by using technologies such as artificial intelligence and cloud-based solutions. We can work to increase our FEW resiliency in ways that support all parts of the F-E-W triangle together. If we all secure our basic FEW needs, we will have the fundamental building blocks 
for modern civilization secure. That's what we need to do, procure these few resources. I urge leaders to carefully consider and prioritize smart investments to boost resilience in few around the world. Our world continues to change rapidly, and we will need to embrace science and innovation to help us tackle the challenges ahead. We look forward to continuing to develop We Summit as a global gathering place to celebrate scientific achievement. It's been a great pleasure to bring We Summit to you all over the past 10 years. And we hope you enjoy this year's 10th anniversary event. Thank you.